Teddy. Teddy. Alex. Okay. So, uh, so sit down. Yes, <laughs> yes. So, may I ask you to tell your story uh, about this uh, barbershop business and all these ta tattoos that you have? Uh, my name is uh, Teddy. I'm an American. Um, I moved here from Los Angeles. Opened my business here in Moscow because I love this country. Um, I'll never live in America again. It was the happiest decision of my life moving to Russia. Mm -hmm. So I brought the old school American style barbershop to Russia. It's obviously, it's got my own style to it, but this is how an old school American barbershop will look in America. It's very different than Russian barbershops. Um, most barbershops in Russia look more like a hair salon. Mm -hmm. We're an authentic, real barbershop and tattoo shop. And, uh, so like I said, I came, I was in Venice Beach, California for 10 years before I came here and I plan to open many barbershops all across Russia. Oh, nice. And how many do have, you have now? Just this one right now, Vadim. And for how long do you have it here? I moved here in December, I opened the barbershop in March. Uh -huh. So I've been open in March, April, May, June, July, Coming up on six months I've been open here. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, perfect spot in Moscow for drinking coffee is Grand Eclair. And you can sit here and uh, drink uh, cappuccino and enjoy the view. Ta -da. <laughs> here is uh, Christopher. Hey, nice to meet you. Steffi. Steffi. Steffi again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Many years I was documenting the website. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it's, it's like a world championship, isn't it? Pure Fest. It's like championship uh, between countries. Mm -hmm. Many countries will be there. I don't remember, but many. Yeah, yeah. from Red United States, Italy, China, Italy, Greece. Uh, I think um, US. US. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think eight, eight countries in total, and four will be today and four tomorrow. So and yeah. they do they sh their show, and afterwards we decide which one was the best. Or? Uh, there will be referees. Uh, kind of not we, not we. Okay. But we can shout. Yeah. <laughs> Depends as loud as you can clap. Yeah. <laughs> I can shout. practice for that today. Check the scooter. Beautiful scooter. On the journal, I think it's produced for Italy, right? I guess it's Italian. Yeah. Journal. Bon giorno. Yeah. Honda. Yeah. Honda. Cool. <laughs> I'd like to ride it one time. <laughs> yeah. You know, many people want to go to the United States and stay okay. there. Why you move to Russia? It all depends what you're looking for. For me, I'm not happy in America. I find much more freedom in this country. America is a very liberal country. It's controlled by liberals, feminism, homosexuals, um, and you have to watch everything you say in that country. Um, if you don't, if you say how you really feel in that country, you'll get called a racist, sexist, homophobe. People will try to mess with your business. Um, I really like Russia because Russia is not a tolerant society like America. I can be very free here. I can be myself and speak freely. And I just love living in this country. A lot of Russians really don't know how America really is. They see this image of what's on TV and movies and it's very different from the reality. Yeah. <laughs> but I really, you know, I, I love this country. I'm happy here. I, for me, it's a good situation to come here. Maybe for other people, it's a better situation for them to move to America. But for me, it's a better situation for me to move to Russia. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I've been to the United States three times. Last time, one year and a half, I moved to the United States for one month in Chicago. Yeah. To Chicago, mm -hmm. I learned English there, and you know, it was like time for my final decision: do I want to go or to stay here? It's and very different. Yeah, yeah and I mean, my decision, you can see. And many Russians always say to me, "Oh, well, can't you make a lot of money there?" I said, 
yeah, you can make a lot of money in America, but I made a lot of money in America. But I also wanted to kill people in that country every day. So <laughs> money does not make you happy. Yes, it makes your life easier, but you obviously see on TV in America, we have many celebrities in our country that commit suicide and kill themselves. Yeah. And these people are rich, so that'll tell you money will not make you happy. You can have millions and millions of dollars and these people still kill themselves. So <laughs> you can make a lot of money in Russia too is if you work hard. <laughs> yeah. Um, we um, learned a lot about, um, I'm not sure how you call it, eco icons? Like, I think icons. I, I, icons is like icons. smaller sort of Russian paintings or? Is it, is it, is it just uh, re religious uh, paintings in right. the church. And this is Tretikov Gallery. I think it's just first floor and you can imagine how big paints is. Yeah. Yeah. We have seen the um, Hermitage, not from the inside but from outside uh, in St. Petersburg. Mm -hmm. That was quite amazing. Like, it's I think also it's huge. Four, basically four buildings there. <laughs> and, uh, they said uh, if you want to see every painting, it takes you up to eight years because it's like so many exponents and so many paintings. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, one time I came here for visa to the to United States. It was yeah. 10 years and something yeah. in 2007. I remember exactly how we was walking from uh, this side, from Red Square. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow, it's so nice. People are sitting here uh, or over there reading books. Yeah. Yeah and riding these uh, long boards I was like wow I want to do the same uh, probably in the future and when I moved here start, start to work for Siemens I just start to walk from Siemens over here yeah and then you suddenly like, remembered or? yeah it's it looked like I saw it somewhere <laughs> <laughs> like a flashback yeah I went to the same McDonald's over there where it was uh, like 10 years ago. Okay. That time it was less amount of years. And, and I was like, wow. But I now work here <laughs> in a walking distance <laughs> from my dream many years ago. Mountain made of paints. It's, it's not on the frame, there is a paint. Right. What you can see here? Like a forest or something? Yeah, yeah, I think it's forest and probably river, right? I've been tattooed, I'm 95% covered, um, tattooed everywhere, I can pull up my shirt, but you see like, I got portraits all over my body, everywhere, wow. like, all tatted up, legs, butt, everything, my whole head. Yeah. Even under hair? Yeah, underneath my, well, I, my hair is burning because I wear a pompadour, but my whole head's tattooed too, if I shave my head. <laughs> But yeah, I'm a tattoo collector too. Is what about uh, old tattoos? A lot of them have to do with music and my favorite singers. I like 1950s music, 1950s lifestyle. My shop is like 1950s, so much of the theme of my tattoos is old 1950s singers. You know, you see I have Elvis Presley right there and Buddy Holly, and my whole body's all singers. And uh, people like that. This leg here, I'm going to be starting. I'm doing all, all my favorite Russians in history. It's going to be on my right leg. Right leg for Russians. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. I never made tattoo. I, I think I will not make 
Maybe you should make a video of getting a, getting your first tattoo here. <laughs> you could get something small and make a YouTube video doing it. Let's say if I will have <laughs> 10 million subscribers, I will make my first tattoo. Okay, you're gonna, we're every... gonna we're gonna hold you to that. Yeah. If you get 10, <laughs> if he gets 10 million subscribers, he has to get a tattoo. Yeah, and I will have a tattoo. Let's say on this finger, but on my leg. Okay. Whatever, just small, get a tattoo. Just, just small one. <laughs> They're addictive though. Once you get one, you won't be able to stop. <laughs> yeah. Is this painful to get tattoo on this finger? It's painful. I mean, it's not going to stay in your fingers. It'll fall out. See, like my fingers are tattooed and your skin on your fingers rubs off very easy. It doesn't... It's hard to stay in your yeah, fingers. Yeah, that's why I want to make a tattoo on this finger. <laughs> Very nice church. So, what do you think about Berlin? Berlin? Mm -hmm. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that, I was in Berlin when it was a, a bit rainy. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty. Um, I was staying in, in Turkish region, but I think it's yeah. okay. In Berlin, you mean? Yeah. In Berlin, yeah. I, no. I asked him uh, how you uh, find uh, how you define Berlin. So you experienced uh, little Istanbul. And it was like <laughs> uh, it was okay. <laughs> so yeah. I like more München. Yeah. Uh, because I think it's more green. Uh, I, I was staying near the English Garden, mm -hmm. and yeah. I was amazed. You know, uh, in a huge city. Yeah. There is a huge park r right in the city center almost. <laughs> I guess, um, I mean, I we told you we've never been in Munich, but um, I think uh, Munich is, yeah, has more money, is cleaner, is, uh, ah, yeah, like, yeah. you know. Yeah, and I think also, like, historically more um, older, with older architecture and so on. Yeah. I was shocked, you know, because it's a bit dirty. You cannot see here blind papers. Yeah. Um, but in Berlin and Munich, yeah. I don't remember what. Ah, in actually, yes. In, in Berlin, too. I think it's really hard. Yeah. And it was like. But it, but what, it's why? Got, it got better. It got really better. Oh, okay. And um, you often see these graffitis on the walls in summer. Yeah, it's sort yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. Special about Berlin. I mean, most people don't like it, but it's kind of makes a difference. Okay, and even subway, for example, when I walk there, um, it was a. So, sorry, that you may say something, but, <laughs> no, no, but, but, I, but, uh, but I say what I see. You can see here also this uh, bicycle uh, lane. lane, yeah. Wow. So, for example, in Berlin, when you walk in, in subway, and the, there is a guy who is carrying this thing with a back, buckets with water, or probably dirty water. He just like st stuck somewhere, some water drop out, yeah. and just he just keep going. Yeah. yeah, he he was not even cleaning it. Yeah. I hope it will change. This video is for changing this. <laughs> Make it better. If you call to this phone. And yeah. ask uh, price for, of this apartment will be like 130 million rubles. Usual price reg regular one room apartment in Moscow cost like uh, five, six, seven, maybe eight millions. Uh, but this one is 120. Yeah. Maybe so more I have because. To calculate what is it in euro? I mean a lot of money. 76. Euros. So one and a half million, yeah. Wow, that's what's, massive. What's prices say in Berlin? For it, I'm not too sure. Normally um, we're re renting monthly, so I don't know what it's... I have no clue. Hmm. I haven't searched for no, an apartment no. at all. And what's the price for renting an apartment in Berlin? Hmm. Um, I mean, it's up to a thousand euros. I mean, it depends how big, like, yeah. what, how big like, are the apartments. Like a like three-room flat or two-room flat in the center is... <clears throat> up to thousand, I think. Yeah. But it's we're not sure. Probably a bit more. Um, I was staying in Berlin, 
six years ago uh, at an apartment in uh, Berlin Moor Beach, which is like nowadays like a one of these kind of fancy things. But back back in this time, it was like n nobody wanted to live there, like yeah, like very much, and uh, it was quite cheap. So I paid for what did I say? I think it was 75 square meters, and we paid you know, 750 or 800 euros. And it was nice. okay, and we, we like it shared good, yeah. by two. Pretty big apartment. Yeah. There are it's many uh, like uh, people who share flats, students, and so on, so in other words, save money. You can't yeah. afford it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think in Munich it's uh, nearly impossible to find flats that are like affor affordable. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you can say something about the interior of your all, the, all the photos and stuff, I brought all this stuff from America. From um, Los Angeles? Yeah, from America. The animals I've gotten here in Russia, I often eat to the old furniture, old Stalin, you know, Sovietsky stuff, the fridge and stuff. But I built yeah. all the cabinets myself, but all the photos and stuff, a lot of it's from America. Nice. It's all my favorite singers and people I like in history and just everything. And this shelf's all stuff people give me in Russia, you know, just different mementos and stuff. <laughs> cool. Up top. But there's, there's no other shop like mine in Russia, I can tell you that. Yeah, and I saw some posters. Like uh, that's for me teaching. I teach barbering all over in Kursk. So that was in Kursk. I've been to Vladivostok teaching. Um, Black Star teaching. Vladivostok. Ah, Vladivostok. Master classes. I teach barbering. Oh, is it like Black Star or something? Uh, not like black. Well, like sort of like how Black Star. They have their academy. I do the same thing, but I travel and teach. I go to different cities and. Eventually, I'll start my own academy, sort of like how Black Star has an academy, their own academy. I'm going to have my own academy here, which I do do it, but it's not full time. Like I'll teach classes, barbers will come, barber shops to come learn off me, but I want to start a full time academy eventually. Mm -hmm.
show some instruments which uh, you know are special in your barber shop compared to other barber shops in Russia. I mean everything. <coughs> the only thing you can probably say special is, is that I have American. I use American tools, but these are Russian machines. People in Russia have these same ones, but like this, this is American clippers, uh -huh. and I work off a voltage converter, but. Theoretically, all the the barber equipment's all the same. It's not really a difference between barber equipment from Russia and to America. Uh, I saw like uh, some chemicals. This is bay rum. Yeah, this is from America. Can't it's, really get this. It's here. bay rum. It's yeah, like it's for, for drinking. Shave. No, it's for after you get a shave. It's uh -huh. it's like alcohol to put on the skin. Ah, uh, okay. And I have a lather machine here. Hot lather. I don't even have it on right now, but hot lather comes out. That's from America. Nobody has that here. Uh, what what's this? Lather for shaving. For, for dangerous shave. shaving, straight razor shaving. It's like foam. Ah, foam. Very hot. It I don't have it on right now, but normally it comes out very hot, steaming hot, and uh -huh. I put that on the skin when I do a shave. Oh, nice. <laughs> Cool. But the barber equipment generally is the same as Russian American, just different kinds of. And also these guys. Ah, okay. Other barber shops can also buy. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We have, we use a lot of the same equipment. Yeah. 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 My station's a little bit of a mess right now. <laughs> yeah. So many chemicals from United States, yeah. 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 Wow. <laughs> Картофель фрай. Картофель? Картофель? Ага, картофель фрай. Картошки фрай. Ммм, холодно. Ямми, это мой. Ха-ха-ха. Ау, ямми. Ммм, ммм, ммм. Actually, it's a good place to see. <laughs> I love cold Are you amazed? <laughs> Christopher, let's stay here. We can stay here. Looks pretty cool, right? Yeah. <laughs> Did you expect something like this? Uh, not as huge. <laughs> not as loud. <laughs>
okay. I think that's all. Thank you very much for interviewing. Maybe get some footage out front of the front of the shop. Okay. Good. Yeah, perfect. Let me know when you put it out. Yeah, I'll send you a link. Send me when you put this out. Uh, I'll give you my Instagram. Maybe you can put it in the information. Yes, of course. So people can find my barber shop. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Uh, I think we'll yeah, next in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Have a good night. Keep in touch. Good night. Bye. 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 -bye.